Now we are discussing acid catalyzed esterification of carboxylic acid. That means how carboxylic acids are converted into ester. Actually, this reaction is following acyl nucleophilic substitution reaction, which we have already discussed in previous video. Now see, uh, when carboxylic acids are treated with alcohol in presence of concentrate H2SO4, we get ester. So ester formation reaction is called esterification reaction and the byproduct is water. This is always uh, uh, after some time an equilibrium is attained. Now when we discuss the mechanism here, formal charge determination is playing very very important role. This mechanism is called AAC2 mechanism. AAC2 mechanism means acid catalyzed by molecular acyl O bond fusion. Acyl O bond fusion means what? So during this reaction actually this is acyl group and this bond is broken so this bond is called acyl O acyl O bond and during this reaction this bond is broken that's why it is called acyl O bond fusion. So because of this AAC2 name is given that is acid catalyzed bimolecular acyl O bond fusion. This is the mechanism. Now in the first step, so you know when we are using H2SO4 there are lot of H plus ion. So H plus ion is coming here on this oxygen. This oxygen is providing a pair of electron to bond to form bond with the hydrogen. Just one pair is left over this oxygen and if you calculate the charge that will be plus formal charge. Now, this, this species is formed after protonation and this is actually the stable species because it can uh, undergo resonance. So how that resonance hybrid is, uh, sorry, resonance structure is obtained. So you can move this pair pi bond over the oxygen. So you will get here complete positive charge over carbon, not over oxygen. So oxygen is highly electronegative. Now the carbon is bearing positive charge, it is stable. So this is called carbocation. So in this step, actually carbocation is formed, but because of resonance, you can't see like that. So now second step is what? So this carbocation, now complete positive charge is there over carbon and our nucleophile, this al alcohol is a nucleophile because oxygen bearing two, two lone pairs. Now there is attraction between positive electron diffusion center and the electron recenter. So that pair is provided to this carbon so to form a bond. So this bond is formed. I am showing that bond. So one pair is utilized. One bond, lone pair of electron is less. So the positive charge is developed. You can calculate by using our formal charge determination concept. Now once this bond is formed, now see this OH and this hydrogen is quite close. So there is actually intramolecular transfer of proton or uh, that proton is transferred over here. The plus point or the driving force is this is very very good living group. Now this group is this living group is converted to the good living group by just transferring that proton. Now what happened in second step in actually third step this double bond is regenerated reform by using this lone pair and this will expel out this living group or this will remove this living group. Now once that living group is removed here, we get this intermediate, this compound is formed, this is protonated and this compound can transfer this H from positively charged oxygen to the electron rich oxygen of water. And that is happening actually. So we get here our ester. So ester is formed in this way by using AAC2 mechanism. Thank you.